Tonight, an urgent investigation continues surrounding the mysterious death of at least six cattle in southeast Texas. Now, these cows mutilated, sliced with precision, but no blood to be found. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf with a Fox follow up tonight from Walker County. In rural towns across southeast Texas, curiosity continues to grow surrounding the mysterious mutilation of cattle. I would say that just don't seem to be any logical reason why anybody would do that. At least six cows in Madison, Brazos, and Robertson County found on their sides dead, hide near their mouths missing, their tongues and in some cases genitals removed. Ranchers not noticing any blood, tire tracks, or footprints. The remains left untouched from scavengers. Definitely concerning. It's something that everybody needs to take in precaution and kind of investigate a little bit. This is a felony criminal offense in the state of Texas. Mark Stevens, a private investigator and retired Houston police detective following this case. With precision cuts and the lack of blood, is that it's someone who's experienced. Seven years ago, he helped arrest two teens in the Cypress area for decapitating a llama and shooting another. You have to figure out why they were focusing on, on the animal parts that they, that they actually harvested. The killed cattle gaining national attention. Some on Facebook commenting their own theories, including cult activity, aliens, and chupacabra. I can almost guarantee you that it's not a chupa, chupacabra. So. No chupacabra, no aliens, no Bigfoot. It's going to be a human endeavor. We just got to figure out who did it and why. Uh, if you figure out the why part first, it's going to lead you to who. An animal investigation only getting more urgent. Worrying some living in rural counties across southeast Texas. Many people wondering why and who would do something like this. So far, no arrests have been made, but the investigation continues across at least three counties in southeast Texas. Reporting in Walker County, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.